All right, guys, so what we're doing now, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna show you how to sublimate on glass. And the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna use white vinyl. We're gonna use white vinyl to be able to do that. It is a very painful process when putting the vinyl on the glass. So it may take several attempts to get it straight without any bubbles. But if you do it, you can get it. Okay, all I'm doing now is just peeling it apart. Okay, and we're gonna attempt to get this done. It's not gonna be easy. What I'm gonna do is go a little at a time. And I'm actually gonna get my uh, scraper. So this is not my normal scraper, but I'm going to go ahead and use this to get it together. Hopefully get out some of these bubbles. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do this. See, I already started. Started the process. I'm going to continue to do this. And... I'll see you again when I get back through putting in the white on the glass. And the way I'm doing it is I'm just pushing it on the sides and allowing the paper to just move. Just pushing it on the sides and allowing the paper to move. Pushing it on the side and allowing the paper to move. And I continue to do this and it kind of works well i still see a few bubbles that i'm gonna have to go back through but i'm pushing it i'm using the squeegee and as you, i don't know if you can see it i'm just pushing it on the side and allowing the paper to move pushing it on the side and allowing the paper to slide down and i'm gonna do that all the way up to the end So I did that process all the way up to the end. Um, I still, I do see a few bubbles that I'm just going to press out. Okay. And once I press these out, we'll get back. All right, guys. So I got my white paper on. I still have a few bubbles. So we're going to see how it works with, um, with the bubbles. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to cut the sides off, cut the sides off. And this again is going in a shadow box. So these little edges don't really matter because you won't be able to see them, but I'm gonna see. I suggest when you're doing this that you practice with smaller items. I'm doing a big old frame. Well, it's not that big. It's a nine by nine. But um, I suggest you just start small so you can practice, especially trying to get this vinyl on because it's hard. And my scissors just fell. All right. So what I'm going to do next is place the picture. Um, so when you print your picture out, make sure there's no need to, um, uh, normally when you do a sublimation, you have to flip it, reverse it. When you're doing this, there's no need to do that. So you're going to put the picture 
the white side of the frame down into your picture. So your picture, make sure it's the way you want it to be. Picture is the way you want it to be. And then you're going to tape it. You're going to use some heat resistant tape. Okay, guys, so I have my design all taped up on my um, on my glass. And now I am going to, so I normally use just a sheet of regular copy paper um, below and above my design. So I'm going to place it down like that. Done. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get copy paper again. I'm gonna place a copy paper right on top or two. Right on top. Then I'm gonna place my picture paper. And then I have this set on 350 for, it's going to take about 270 seconds. But right now I have it on 250, 250 for 120. I'm going to lift it, take a look at it, and then close it just to make sure that it's subbing correctly. Okay. And you want to put this on like medium, medium heavy pressure. Okay, guys, we have three more seconds and I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to take a look at it, see what it looks like, and put it back down for another 120 seconds. Okay, so, see, it's not fully sublimated as yet. I'm going to put it back down, and we're going to do another 120 seconds. All right, guys, so we have about 10 seconds, and I'm going to lift it up, and we should be good. All right, so let's see what it is actually pretty good, but I see a little bit of sections. I want to make sure that we get those. So I'm going to do it one more time, um, maybe about 80 seconds this time. So, this is the last one. So, we pressed it. And let's see what this looks like. And I think it is pretty good. Now, it's going to be really hot. So... You may want to use something to hold it, but let's take this off. Take off. Okay, so it's pretty hot. So you have to be very gentle because again, you know, with vinyl, vinyl takes the um, the glue, the glue is going to come off. So we have to really take our time when taking this off. We want to make sure that we don't um, take the actual vinyl off. So we have to get a side. Okay, yeah. 
Okay, let me make sure that we get an area that will slowly come up. Slowly come up. Okay. Ooh, this is kind of hot. It's really hot. There we have a side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it this way. I'm going to take this off. Remove these. Remove these papers. And we try to slowly, slowly peel it apart. Okay, guys. So to take the paper off the back, I ended up having to put it in the sink underneath the um underneath the the water to get the back off the paper off the back. And and then here you have it. And yeah, the size these sides are white, but it doesn't matter for what I'm going to do because it's going to be inside of a shadow box. So there you have it, sublimation on glass. And um, it's worth mentioning that even though I had those bubbles in the beginning, as you can see, it does not show up on the actual picture on the glass. So having a few bubbles shouldn't be a big deal. All right, there you have it. Hey guys, here is the final product. I'm actually going to put um, something here to say like the Andersons or something. But here it is. It's a shadow box um, that can stand by itself or be placed, be hung on the wall or however you decide to do it. And as you can see, as I mentioned, the sides, they did not uh, matter.